Hey, buddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Whisker Squadron Survivor. How big is this game? How important is it? What is it? It is a rail shooter where you fly a little airplane. Um, it's kind of cool. It's also a roguelike. It's got all sorts of modifiers you can do. For example, uh, we can make it so that if we collide with the environment, we instantaneously die. I do not like any of these modifiers, so I will be playing the default map that I have already technically cleared, but I want to kind of show the game off. Now, we've got ourselves the nice arrow ship. Te technically, I could unlock some of these other ones, but I'm going to play the arrow. It's a very balanced ship, right? It's got a little bit of hull, it's a little bit of energy, decent fire rate. Uh, the dagger is a lot less hull, more energy, and more fire rate. And then the hammer is all hull. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go with the bog standard arrow. I'm going to take Max because he has more options on the level up screen. And I'm going to take the Gatling gun and the uh, crater missile. Eh, let's take the multi missile launcher. And let's see what we can do. I like to play around with the Gatling cannon, it's a really, really fun weapon. It It isn't as good as the other weapon, in my opinion. But it is fun to use, which gives it a lot of lot of oomph. So there's a lot of like mechanics going on here in this game that I need to kind of talk about. So one of them is what we call a tight boost, which is when you boost through a small space like this. Uh, there are varieties of perks and abilities that you can get that level you up. Now you control with the mouse, right? Like so I move my mouse around, I point it at the enemy, I hold down the left click, I charge up my Gatling gun, and I shoot him. So it's a third person on the rail shooter very very simple but it does have a few little quirks that kind of maybe make it a little bit more interesting than your you know bog standard are there bog standard versions of this game i don't know uh bog standard versions of this genre rather so we have collected enough experience to level up and this is look pretty again bog standard for this kind of roguelike game right so we can get extra hull i don't know i don't see a point for that uh, we can get tight boost tight boost damage chargers multi-missile launchers and critical hit hull now, I'm a big fan of the critical hit hole. In fact, I would just go as far as to say is getting critical hit hole. I'm not going to say it makes you invincible, but you start off this game with like 1% critical hit chance. And I currently have six uh, because I've leveled up because, you, you know, you do the regular thing. You collect resources um, and then after the run, you get to buy things. So I currently have a 6% crit chance now. Ooh, okay, so I can level up my Gatling gun, which would be a 50% DPS increase on the Gatling gun, or a 20% fire rate buff. I'm going to go for the Gatling gun level up because it's a 50% increase in my DPS, which means my time to kill should be a lot lower on these Scarabs. Uh, let's use some missiles to clear out some of these bad boys. One thing that I find, it's not egregious, it's just like moderately annoying is that in order to you have to actually collect the experience after you kill something which is quite difficult because you're often dodging projectiles in three dimensions you're speeding up you're doing all sorts of things uh, now we could go for even more critical hit hole but i don't think we need more healing than what this is already providing a missile drone would be pretty cool i'm also a big fan of energy plus one because that just means i can hold down the trigger for longer and i can boost for longer uh, and the longer i can hold down the trigger the more total damage i can do before um, before I have to let go, I guess. We do have a little bit of a shield that protects us from certain things. And also, as we get kills, if you look on the top left, a combo will pop up. And I think there are certain perks that interact with how much of a combo you have. There are different perks that interact with um, boosting. So hopefully we can get to see some of these really cool perks. I, I have kind of figured out this game in the sense that it's all about your primary weapon and getting a laser drone. Um, if you can get that to work, you, it's like, it's basically over. You know, fire rate, level up your primary weapon, and get the laser drone. It's very hard to lose if you do all of that. And then you just need to get some way, like, level up your critical hit chance, and then some way to restore health using crit, which I already have. Uh, so we're going to level up our Gatling gun again. This will allow us to, after we... After we let our energy recharge, we should be able to charge back up the Gatling gun again, which is not exactly a DPS increase, but what it is, it's an immediacy increase. I hold down the trigger and my gun goes off roughly one quarter faster. But it also means we're two levels now from maxing out our Gatling gun. And then that will actually scale really well with anything that gives us extra critical hit chance, gives us extra damage or effects when we kill things, which are gonna be things that we wanna look into. Now there is a sweeper beetle on this level, which is like a mini boss. Um, and we're going to have to try to figure out how to kill him. Usually, uh, the way to kill him is to just run behind him, fire a whole bunch of rockets at him, and then see if you can kill him. So you just hold down the trigger until you run out of energy, and you just do that over and over again. 
Um, so you can see, I'm like getting crits constantly. Let's keep getting them. So he's down to about half health, and I'm taking some shots from these uh, scarabs. But I just gotta wait for my energy back, and... Well, I am taking damage, and we gotta watch out for those beetles, because they do jump up and do serious damage. Alright, we got a little bit of a problem, we gotta get this guy killed. Because I'm getting shot at a lot. Right, hopefully he dies here, and then I can swoop in and get all of his experience. So every 10 combo hits increases your critical ch hit chance by 1. This is great later, not so great right now. The restoring energy on critical hits would be fantastic. It means I can hold down the trigger longer. So I am going to go for that. Um, because what it means is as I crit enemies, um, I'm actually restoring the energy that I require to shoot. Which gives me uh, a lot of sustained firepower. And because I'm healing from crits, it also lets me crit more. I don't need energy. I'm going to take fire rate. Because the more bullets I can launch downwind, um, the better. Big fan of taking fire rate. I've basically figured out the basic formula to at least dominate the early game. Um, would like one level of magnet. Two levels of magnet feels like just about enough to gather basically everything. Fire off some missiles here. Oh yeah, we need to scoop up as much experience as we can early on in the game. And try to get really good levels. Ooh, Swarm Leecher is another fantastic one. It basically heals you as you kill things. But I am going to go ahead and take Gatling Gun, because that's another plus four damage. It's another plus one damage, which is a 33% DPS increase for me. Um... I remember, that will scale with future upgrades I get, like attack speed, uh, critical hit... So just a great, all around a great pickup, honestly. Yeah, the larva bombs are a problem, but the scarabs aren't so bad. All right, we finished up this level. Let's swoop on through to level two. Eight zones remain. It's quite a fun, like, it kind of reminds me of Star Fox, although without the story, I will say, um, part of the reason I loved Star Fox so much is because, like, there were so many different levels, there were so many different unique enemies, and while there are a decent number of enemies, they all kind of look similar. Oh, laser drone. Okay, so this is huge. So basically, every third shot, this will fire a projectile, dealing 25% damage of our primary weapon, which currently does 4 damage. So every third shot, it'll shoot a 1 damage projectile. Um, this scales really well with the Gatling gun, and any levels we can get into it, so... We're going to be focusing on getting this up. And the really cool thing about the laser drone is that it chooses its own target. So it's essentially like an extra little minigun firing away. Um, and it has really good accuracy too. It can't shoot through terrain. Which the, I believe the missile launcher can, the missile drone can shoot through terrain. But that's beside the, the point. Okay, so we can get a Longevity Enhancer, a Revive, or a Curse Choice. Uh, let's see. Deadly Black Holes or Unlimited Boosting. I'm going to go for the... Revive. I'll take the one. The one-time Revive. That seems quite good. I, I didn't actually like any of those upgrades, but sometimes you get a bad pick. And that's life. I tend to focus on my primary weapon. My secondary weapon doesn't seem very good to me. I mean, even if you fully level it up, its DPS is quite low. I mean, it's not bad, don't get me wrong. It just has low DPS compared to um, the... Low DPS compared to the primary weapon. Okay, so I think we will go for energy. This will just give me more energy in the tank. The more energy in the tank I have, the longer I can shoot, the more crits I can fish for, and therefore the more I can refill my hole and my energy. I love the crit build. The crit build is super, super fun. And I honestly, I don't think there's any other build that is like as competitive. Now that said, there might be like modifiers. If you, if you like try to play this game on like super modification mode where you play at the maximum, 
might change things. Now, you might be sitting here, and you might be playing this, and you might be watching me play this, and you're like, wow, Potato, you're completely dominating this. Let me tell you, my friend, I have like maybe 10 hours in this game. <laughs> <laughs> because I spent a decent amount of time learning how to play this damn game. Also, there's a perk I really want, which basically electrocutes enemies nearby, enemies nearby to the unit that you kill, and it's amazing. It's not proximity zapper. I'm just going to go ahead and take firing rate. More firing rate means more crits, means my drone fires faster. It does mean I chew through my energy reserve faster, um, but that's, that's fine, because that means I get to reload faster, right? I get back to recharging. What I really want is a magnet. Um, yeah, so as, as you build up combo, you'll get like meta progression points and... It's just the whole thing. So now we're going to get into the phase of the game where the static emplacements start to play a larger role. Um, and these are worth a lot of experience, so they're actually pretty damn good to kill. And I will be focusing heavily on killing those over other things. Because I'm trying to, I'm still trying to farm experience. Because we're, we're still on the easy levels, and I'm missing some really critical things that would help me out a lot when I get to the harder levels. In fact, this is one of the harder levels. Um, it has already begun. Uh, I'm going to take another level of laser drone. So this basically doubles the effectiveness. So a 25% shot every third shot is like a quarter of a third of your damage. Now this is half of a third, so it's a sixth. So we're doubling the effectiveness of this. The sixth well, it doesn't seem like much, uh, but it does get all the way up to a half. So the amount of... Yeah, this this is what I was talking about. This is one of the harder levels with all the lasers around. Thankfully, we do have a heal. Uh, a healing perk. So while we, you know, we're not completely sitting idle, and we don't give a damn about all this, um, there is something to be said for... The fact that we should survive this pretty comfortably. Uh, the laser drone is incredibly important for dealing with these things, these little floating spikes, because it will auto target them as I as I clean up the towers to farm. Now the roll deflector is really damn good, but I'm going to focus on the laser drone because this is going to bring this up another 25%, which means it's uh, two thirds of a third or. Three quarters of a third, which is, you know, what, uh, three, three sixths. So it's up to three sixths damage. No, that's too little. It's up to whatever. 75% of a third is what it's at. So we're getting close to it being like a reasonable amount of damage. And it is starting to do work for me. Gonna clean out these bad boys. Ah! Chain Death Lightning. This is the ability. So basically, enemies do 4 damage to 2 targets within 75 meters of them when they die. That might not seem like much, but considering a single bullet of mine does 4 damage, that's like getting to fire a bullet off at two other nearby targets. And uh, there is a level coming <laughs> where that will be important. That extra little bit of passive damage will help. It also helps a lot for killing those guys. Because once you pop one, they all kind of start popping off on each other, doing damage to each other. It sets off. The chain reactions that become possible um, are kind of important. So we got through that level full health, um, we're pretty comfy, and I would say we almost have a fully upgraded Gatling gun. We don't need to fully upgrade the Gatling guns, um, we're on to another turret level. Now this turret level is quite a bit harder, um, if it's the one that I'm thinking of, because it has the regurgitators, uh, and we have a sky crawler. Okay, so let's get up high. Where are you? So this guy I need to focus on killing, I need to like roll dodge away from his attacks. I'm going to use missiles as well. Even though my missiles aren't leveled up, they still are pretty effective despite that. But the sheer level of damage output that I have right now is actually really good. Ooh, come on, let me get him. Okay, we got him pretty cleanly. Unfortunately, we don't have a magnet, so we're likely to lose a lot of these. 
Uh, we will do Chain Death Lightning, so, yeah. That's one of the downsides when you kill a mini boss. If you don't have Magnet, you're going to lose some of the experience he drops. But I did kill him cleanly, and that means he's dealt with. And we got a decent amount of XP out of him. Regurgitators definitely need to die because they basically create walls. Which you can imagine in a 3D on the rails shooter. Uh, creating terrain makes your life a little bit harder. Alright, where are you? Let's swoop in over here. Alright, he's down. Oh, a little deflection. I don't actually have the deflection shield. I still instinctively like spin when I'm being attacked. Do a barrel roll. Press A to shoot. Or was it B? I don't remember. I think it was... Was it Pippi? Who was, who was the rabbit? The hare? Was he a hare or a rabbit in Star Fox? All right, we got Daredevil, which increases my damage 100% when we're... Oh, Magnet. Yes. Okay, so a single level in Magnet helps a lot. Two levels in Magnet is huge. Any more than two feels like, honestly, a little bit too much. Um, but what it means is I don't have to quite get so close. Um, and less experience will pass me by. And that will be useful, particularly in future levels, where I'm not going to be able to really choose... I'm not going to have the option to swoop in over someone to pick up their experience when I'm dodging, you know, 500 lasers. Because we are halfway through this game, at least this, this, this area. And trust me, I might be making this look easy. <clears throat> but I have played a decent amount of this game over the last couple of days. Um, just to get the hang of it, because, I've, you know... I wanted to try something kind of funky and new and different, and, uh, you know, it worked out. Ow, I bounced off that guy. Alright. So, things should get hard in here. We should start running into cool, a, a bit of bullet hell, potentially, depending on if this is the level that I think it is. And I really hope we don't get an Arachnidaddy. Um, if we do get an Arachnidaddy, we will deal with it. It's just, I really hope we don't get one. Okay, we got another Skycrawler, which is annoying, but we can deal with that. Make sure we drop off all of our missiles on him. Okay. Regurgitators are important to kill because they do really annoying stuff. But now we do have a um, magnet, and we also have Chain Death. So I actually really need to kill the Sky thing, because once these guys activate, it's going to be hell. I want to kill him after this because he's going to drop a whole bunch of money. Come on, drop it. Right, we got to swoop through. Uh, I'm going to go for the firing rate increase. DPS is very important to me. The faster I kill things, the less I have to hold up to the trigger, the faster my energy res... res oh, mister, hit me. Um, I'm actually... The problem is, right? I, I, I have so thoroughly... Um, beaten the zone. Because I know all the tricks and the quirks of the game. That, um... Well... I've, I've thoroughly beaten the basic version. We're playing on the, like, no speed boost, no nut... Like, I could, I could be speed boosting through. And we're also playing on a very... Very simplified game um, game rule set. Now, see these guys? This is where the drone comes in handy. As do the rockets. Because these guys are just... Look at, oh, look at that fire, dude. And the drone will just automatically target. And I can just spray my firing patterns through them. Um, this is also where the chain death comes in pretty handy. Uh, I'm going to level up the firing rate. I want to get that up to maximum. Faster I shoot, the faster my drone shoots. Uh, the more damage I do, the better. Killing things fast is important. Alright, we made it through zone 6. Alright, there's three more zones. Maybe four more. Um, we're relatively full on health. We do have the ability to heal. We have a level 1 magnet. Would love a level 2 magnet. Would like to level up my gun drone. My laser drone is uh, weak. So now we're going to see tier 2 towers. Tier 2 towers 
are not like completely different to the tier one towers. They do, however, um, present a slightly higher threat. Oh, we can kill that for money. I do wish there was more like environmental stuff to destroy. That is something I love about rail shooters. Um, I used to love, uh, God, what was that game where you were like an F-16 jet? Raptor? God, I loved Raptor because you could do this. So this is an Arachnidaddy. Now the big problem with an Arachnidaddy is he drops bombs behind him. Those things that just like he spewed out. Um, that's gonna be something we just deal with from now on. So I need to get all my rockets on him. And I also need to get damage. Ooh, okay. Uh, Ghost Gambit. Enemies are now invisible for the next three minutes. Steering controls are inverted. Uh, I'm gonna go for energy capacity. Thank you. I really want that Arachnidaddy to die, die though, so I'm just gonna dump missiles on him. Alright, looks like we got him. Uh, now I'm gonna start firing randomly into this... Uh, array of robots. I don't know if they're robots or if they're like living creatures. The game isn't explicitly clear about that. They're just called like the swarm or something. Um, but I'm big fan of this auto firing drone thing. Drone lasers helping me get some kills here. Which is lowering the total throughput of bullshit in my direction. Uh, I'm gonna go for Chain Death Lightning, uh, hitting four targets, so basically double the damage on that Chain Death Lightning. And then I believe you can get range increase. If you look carefully, you will see the Chain Lightning uh, zapping people. It is a little bit hard to spot, but it is happening, I promise you. And it's, it's particularly the Chain Lightning is super important for these particular enemies. Um, other enemies, I don't think it's necessary, but these spike head things, chain chain lightning makes them trivial to deal with, um, which makes it feel required. All right, we're taking them out. We got through this zone pretty cleanly, I would say, considering we also killed the Arachnidaddy. Not many level ups are going to be coming from now on. So our build is basically our build that we have to try and finish the game with it. It's a decent build. Would have liked to have leveled up the energy from crit thing a little more and also wouldn't mind to getting the final upgrade to my drone. My laser drone. But level 22 is a pretty good level uh, in terms of total experience. So this is the third last zone and now we're going to be going up against the stinger turrets that fire the stinger bombs that um, have tracking and do a lot of damage when they explode. Uh, and, but you can, however, shoot them out of the air. Okay, we got another Skycrawler. We're gonna fire off a whole bunch of rockets at him. We already got him down to a third. Down by a third, rather. All right, let's get him down. He's down to half. He's down to a quarter. Thankfully, I just have so much damage that I can make this work. Now, we did take a decent amount of damage by focusing on killing him. Um, let's take the Gatling gun level. It won't show up anymore. Just makes our gun slightly more responsive. It doesn't actually give us more damage or DPS. It's a very, very slight DPS increase. I will say that, right? It's, it's, a, it's a very marginal DPS increase to level up the Gatling gun. Um, but here's the thing. Ooh, okay, we managed to dodge that. Um, I love the music and the sound effects in this game, by the way. Um, it's a very, very vibey game. Sick vibes in this game. Which is exactly the kind of thing you want from a game like this. I love these kind of games, by the way. I love these. Ar I've always been a huge fan of arcade -y. Arcade style, quick, bite-sized games. Um, because what I love is... <clears throat> One thing... What I do love, kind of a more overarching game with like a story and all this stuff... Sometimes I feel like I made decisions earlier in the game that affect me. So I actually really like it when a game is linear. When I don't make decisions because I regret my decisions. Uh, both in real life and in video games, but especially in video games. So I actually prefer it if choices are very... It's partially probably why I didn't really like Baldur's Gate very much. Um, all right, we took a decent chunk of damage from that. Um, but yeah, I really like decisions to be like, you go through a linear narrative, branching narrative, no thank you. Uh, because it just it makes me feel like I missed out. I kind of want to play through your story. I want to be, I want to see your story. I don't want to tell a story. 
Uh, hole, type boost. Ooh, laser drone. So this is where the laser drone becomes into its own. So this is doubling the, uh, no, not doubling. It's massively increasing the effectiveness. So it goes from one third to half. So it's three quarters of a half is how much it's increasing us, which is quite a bit. Um, which is, it should be like, a it's a 37% DPS increase now the laser drone. And one more increase, one more level up, and it will be a 50% um, DPS increase. But it's actually better than that because the laser drone misses a lot less than I do. It's very, very accurate. So imagine it's like half, like every second shot that I spew out, one of them is like auto seeking. Um, which is sick as hell. Okay, Stinger Scarabs are like the right, are like the turrets. Now, these are bubble turrets, which also fire off a whole bunch of stuff. The gameplay is going to be tough from here on out. This is level 9. Um, if, I mean, it, it depends on if they throw the right combination of annoying units at me. Whoa. Yeah, see, look, I'm already down like 20% of my health, so it's important for me to keep firing because, oh, my build is based off of killing to survive. And if I just take too much damage, um, I'm going to be in a bad place. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we're struggling a little bit because we're missing some key... Some key upgrades are missing. And we're also not avoiding damage very well. But things are going okay. Oh, okay. We're making it. Uh, so I think while I do like the critical hit recharge, I think I would like to get the, the hull increase. So I'm going to go for critical hit hull. That'll roughly increase my healing by about a third. Um, and since we're relatively, I, I wouldn't call us health stable yet, but we're, we're stable enough in our health. All right, yeah, we need to let those projectiles hit the wall. But I think we have a 6% chance to crit, and we do fire shots pretty quick. Now, I don't believe that my mini laser turret can crit. It has to be me, which makes these turrets fantastic for farming HP. Um... Because they don't move, and they have big hitboxes and lots of health. So you can farm uh, health off them, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we made it through. It's not so bad. We did we did take some more damage than we had anticipated, though. Um, I believe we are in the final zone. Now, how things go here? Well, we'll see. Alright, see so those spike heads? Those are scary. But we do have the tools to deal with them. We have the laser drone plus the chain death. Okay, we have a scatter queen. Let's get the rockets onto that really quick. Okay, we got all our rockets onto the scatter queen. Ow. So, while we do want to... We do want to kill the scatter queen, we don't want to focus on her. And we also... Now, our goal is survival. Um, I'm going to take Swarm Bleacher here. So I gain 5 hull every few kills. Because this will mean... Um, I have way more passive healing. Uh, you just gotta take evasive maneuvers. And we're gonna focus on killing. Shh, and keeping the number of swarm on screen down low. And also focusing on getting rockets onto that scatter queen. Alright, things are getting chaotic as heck. Oh man! Oh walls! Oh Jesus! The thing is, we burn through our energy really quick. Stay alive. That's all we gotta do. We just have to survive. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Get as many kills as you can. Get as many crits as you can. As well, okay, the healing is based. Get the rockets on the queen. See if we can get a... All right, we're full health. Let's go blast the queen. While we have the health. We did it. Um, let's take the roll deflector. It might help us through this zone. <laughs> so every three seconds when I roll deflect, it will make me immune to incoming damage, basically. Um, basically destroys projectiles that are within a certain range of my ship. I think is how it works. The game doesn't actually explain itself a whole lot. You kind of make some assumptions. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know how good the YouTube... Um, compression algorithm is going to be for this game. Be real with you guys. I don't think it's going to come through very quickly, but there is a lot on screen, and I'm playing on the easiest version of the game. <laughs> Just I want to put that I want to put that out there. This is the easiest level. In the easiest form, you can play that level, um, and I'm kind of okay. Ooh, chain death lightning will increase the radius. That's a huge radius increase. As is the combo critical chance. I think the combo critical chance fits with my build really neatly here. Um, because the extra 1% crit for every 10 combo I have is huge. I think we did just finish the level though. We made it through. It's time to head back now. Okay, so that was like your first taste of the game. Pretty cool, right? Like we, you know, we gained 100,000 VP, we got an 87 max combo, we cleared 10 zones. Um, very cool. Very neat. Awesome. Um, now let me show you. Oh, look, we, we unlocked the hammer. Um, cool. Cool hammer. Uh, so let me show you what happens, okay? Fatal collision. Collisions with the environment will instantly destroy the pilot's ship. Click. Swarm projectile speed. Swarm lasers are 50% faster. Click. Pilot's starting health is lower to 10. Click. No shield. Ship's shields are disabled. Click. Uh, ship's movement speed is 30% faster. Those are the, these are just the ones I have unlocked, okay? There's so many more. Swarm deal more damage. Uh, deflect 50 projectiles. Uh, tight, you have to do a tight boost every 60 seconds or you just die. Uh, deal double damage, but receive double damage. Kind of a cool one. Um, so if we go in here now, um, we have a whole bunch of money. So I could like unlock this guy, right? He gains 10% more VP. Uh, he's an experienced pilot. Uh, and then we have like, we could unlock the burst blaster. And the crater missile launcher. Uh, we could also, I believe, unlock... Well, I don't have enough VPs to unlock him. But we can unlock this in theory, right? Uh, the other thing we can do is we can like insert perks into... You know, we have global perks for multipliers, starting missile ammo... Uh, missile ammo capacity, shield capacity, well, shield, no use to have a shield. Uh, but, like, let's say, in theory, we take uh, missile ammo capacity and boost efficiency and energy recharge. I maxed out crit and critical hit damage because that seemed like the best way to get as much DPS on the field as possible. Um, it just seemed like a good move. So, um, this is going to be a different ball game playing with all these mods, okay? So you remember how I had like a whole bunch of health? Ooh, a scatter shot is not as good as I thought it would be. See how these enemies are already moving quicker? Okay, this is the first wave. Uh, we'll go for firing rate. The firing rate is always good. We gotta boost through as fast as we can. All right. Oh, okay. A single. Look how much hull I have. I'm going to go ahead and level up the... Ooh, the tight boost damage charger is kind of cool. So every time I do a tight boost, I'll do 100% more damage. So I should be looking out for tight boosts. It's not great on this level, honestly, but there is a tight boost right here. Oh, sorry. I collided with the terrain and now I'm dead. So this is... Um, this is Whisker Squadron Survivor. It's pretty cool. It's evocative of the old Star Fox games. It's really fun. Um, I had a lot of fun playing it. Check it out. Uh, this wasn't sponsored. I just... I talked to the developer on Twitter and I thought his game looked neat. And I'm playing it. Uh, yeah. Love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.